What's up, DNG? It's Matt, and welcome back to the NFL preseason picks. I went ten and six this week. That was the first week. It's week two now, and we're just gonna get into this. Uh, this uh, this overall is just the preseason. It, it's not gonna stick in the regular season. It's gonna start all over, uh, starting the regular season week one. So don't worry about that. And I think we can get into this. Uh, now last season. I, I had graphics, you know, that had, like, must-watch game, key game, upset of the week. I am going to have that, but that's just not going to be in the preseason again. So, uh, don't worry about that. And you may have noticed that the change in the W to a check mark. I think that it's, it's more fitting. You know, the W just kind of looked at place. So, yeah, uh, just, just to explain those changes, but now we can get into it. You got the Sea Bear game in Bikini Bottom. Chicago Bears versus the Seattle Seahawks. Both of these teams didn't look bad. But, you know, one one, one uh, quarterback stood out more to me. And they won the game. And that was Justin Fields against Chiefs. Justin Fields. Stonks. Stonks are going up, bro. And that's going to be my pick. Next game. Uh, that was Thursday. But now we get into... I think this is, I think this is also a Thursday game. Actually, let me just double check that. NFL. I should really have this stuff in front of me. Don't worry. Don't worry. We chillin' boys. No, no, this is Friday. That's what I thought. Okay. We got our Friday game. Panthers versus the Patriots. And I actually, I, I, I also, it, it, it seems like this is just up to QB play. And also winners, but I really like what I'm seeing out of the Panthers quarterbacks, and those those two minute drives go a long way. So I'm gonna give it to the Panthers again. I'm not liking anything of the Patriots, no depth at all, and you you'd be surprised because it's fucking it's fucking Bill Belichick, and he's just got no defense, man. But uh, we we we're used to seeing the Giants beat the Patriots. Uh, anyways, next game. Also Friday, you got Saints versus Packers. Uh, not a lot out of the Saints and Texans game, but just enough from the Packers and 49ers to tell me, God damn, I do not like Jordan Love. So I'm going to give it to the Saints just based off that, dude. I do not like anything of Jordan Love. Jordan Love stonks are going... They're going down, man. They are... They're just... They are plummeting uh next game we got the texans versus the rams also on friday this is the last game on friday though uh ending it with a win for which winning team the rams of course uh they beat the chargers uh their players look really nasty so i'm gonna give it to the rams here again it's preseason i don't want to go in depth too bad too much but Saturday, you got the Broncos versus the Bills, two winning teams again. Broncos faced the Cowboys. Uh, the Bills faced the Colts. So, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I, there's not much to take away from me in these games. Uh, I'm going to go with the... God. I'm actually going to go with kind of an upset here in the preseason. I'm going to give it to the Broncos. Uh... Next up, you got the Lions versus the Colts. Kind of, kind of speeding it up here. Oh, God. The voice cracks are back. Okay. Um, Saturday as well, Lions versus Colts. Uh, both of them lost, but one of, this, one of these teams really showed promise, and I really like the Lions. Kind of an upset again, but we're going to go with the Lions. Going to go with Motor City here. Next up, you got the Commanders versus the Chiefs. Uh, Commanders came really close to beating the Panthers, but the Panthers had that last minute drive. Pretty good. Uh, and they just had no time left. Uh, Justin Fields happened to the Chiefs. Uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead with go, go, go with the Commanders, because Sam Howell stonks. Moving on. Raiders versus Dolphins. Uh, the, all these games are Saturday, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna stop saying, I'll, I'll just start saying when the Sunday games happen, but 
the next games you're just going to they're from, they're automatically Saturday. It's implied. So, Raiders versus Dolphins, two teams that really looks good. Uh, Raiders look just insanely good. I actually forgot who I went with here, but there it is. I go with the Dolphins. Raiders got to lose sometime, so I, I went with the Dolphins there. Uh, that That's really a 50-50 pick. Next up, Steelers versus Jaguars. Uh, listen, Jaguars, I, I don't know. It's going to be a rough season for you guys. Even though you won't be the number one overall pick, you still just have no depth, and the Steelers look really good, so yeah, give me the Steelers. Next up, you got 49ers heading into Minnesota to play the Vikings. Uh, one team lost, one team won, and I'm gonna go. I, I'm just gonna simply go with the winning team here. And Trey Lance is looking baller. Next up, you got the Buccaneers playing the Tennessee Titans, Houston Oilers. Uh, how is Malik Willis doing? He ain't doing bad. Buccaneers. Uh, you know Joe Tryon. I'm looking at that Joe Joe Tryon versus Malik Willis. Uh. Can't you my bets here? I'm actually going with the Titans. Both the teams lost. I like the Titans quarterback situation more, obviously. Next up, Cowboys and Chargers. Uh, warning choking hazard for this game. Both of these teams just know how to choke it, choke it, choke it, and they're overrated. But one team has to win. And I, 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 hey, listen. I picked the Cowboys last week and they lost. So in return, in spite, I am just going to pick the Chargers here. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if the Cowboys won this game, though. I, I don't know, man. Everybody says the Chargers have a lot of depth. Well, uh, how'd they lose? Anyways, next up, Eagles versus Browns. Sorry, no, I, I don't hate any team. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Next up, you got Eagles versus Browns. This is the first Sunday game. There are three Sunday games. Ooh, interesting. Not just on Sunday. Okay. All right, anyways. First Sunday game, Eagles-Browns. Uh, man, I realize how many times I'm hinging my bets, but the Eagles don't look bad. I think the Jets just look pretty good. Uh, Browns just didn't look... It, it, you, you could say this for Browns, though. Browns did not... Look that good. And they played the Jaguars, who I think might be the worst preseason team I've ever seen. But I I can't pick I, I can't pick I can't pick them. They just don't look good. They they don't look that good in preseason. Like they played the Jaguars, that's how they beat them. I, I, this game's definitely gonna show how good they are in the preseason. And the, the stocks are going down, so I'll give I'll give it to the Eagles there. Next up, you got the Bengals playing the Giants. The Giants beat the Patriots, who I think just don't have any depth. They're probably in the bottom five for teams that have depth, probably. Like, like Jaguars and Patriots would be an interesting preseason matchup just to see what team wins that. They just, no one has anybody. Um, nobody worth mentioning, for sure. Uh, Giants did beat the Patriots. Bengals lost to the Cardinals, but Drew Plitt, man, for the Cincinnati Bengals did not look that bad. Uh, Daniel Jones had 69 yards. Nice. But, yeah, I think I'm going to give it to the Bengals here. If they lose, I, I'm if they lose, I don't know. If the Bengals lose this preseason game, uh, I will not pick them next week. It depends how much they win by. We'll see. But because they because they you got the Super Bowl matchup next week, and that's gonna be fun in the preseason. Next up, you got Ravens versus Cardinals. Cardinals beat the Bay Bengals pretty handily. It was like what thirty six twenty three, pretty high scoring game. Uh, for the preseason, that is. Ravens beat the Titans pretty handily. I don't remember if it was a one one possession, but I don't, it didn't it didn't feel close to me. Like the Ravens are always in control. Uh, this is a, this is a tough one to pick. I'm actually gonna go with the Cardinals. I think they can get it done. I like their depth. Uh, Trace McSorley better quarterback than their backup for sure. 
I mean, he played for them. He knows he knows the goddamn playbook. Oh, yeah, I think he's got it. I think he's got this in the bag. Next up, a Monday game. You got the Falcons versus the Jets. Desmond Ritter versus Joe Flacco. And my God, Desmond, that last drive by Desmond Ritter was beautiful, dude. I like, I like what I'm seeing at Desmond Ritter. And I just like, I think that uh, Zach Wilson injury is going to, you know, hurt the Jets long term in the preseason. Dare I say it? Like, like it doesn't really matter. But I think the Jets are going to lose this game just because I think they'll mentally be uh, thinking about that. But meanwhile, the Falcons are riding high with Desmond Ritter and a whole, whole bunch of debt. Whole bunch of depth in their quarterback room for sure. Uh, we'll see. I think the Falcons will come on top of this game though. And that's going to be my picks. Hope you guys have a good weekend uh, watching these games. Uh, let me know what your predictions are. And uh, maybe let me know your record at the end of the week. We'll see. And your record so far. All right. Peace out, guys.